Indeed, you need some basic Linux skill to finish this job. But I think if you are playing with Raspberry Pi, you must be ready for this. By the way, my previous NAS video shows all the hardware stuff. This time, I will show you the configuration in operating system. Let's get started. First, you need install the Raspbian OS into SD card. That's a pretty straightforward process. Just follow the official guide and you will get there. Number two, when your Raspbian OS is ready, you should open a terminal whatever by console desktop or SSH login and finish the hard disk partition and file system creation. The only thing I want to highlight here is the GPT label. Don't forget it. Otherwise, you can only get 2 terabyte hard disk maximum. Number 3. After you created the ext4 file system, just mark them to a directory. As I mentioned, Please use a good directory name. You don't want to forget which one is which after a few months. Another thing which should cause trouble is the device name. It could probably change if you plug or unplug the hard disk in different order to the USB port. You have to identify them correctly, otherwise you cannot mount it to the right directory. To identify the hard disk, you have to install some tools like you can see here. Number 4. Share your storage. And you have to create two services for Mac OS and Windows. I list here the simplest configuration. You can add other limitations by the hint in the configuration files and check the finder in Mac OS to connect to the server. Number five, use rsync to synchronize both hard disks and putting them in cron job would be handy. And I will also make another offline backup as I can't afford the loss of my photos since 2002. Number six, here is some useful tips. CPU temperature. Technically speaking, it is the chipset temperature. Anyway, don't let it above 70 C degree if you want your Pi live as long as possible. Some people hate the red power LED light, so do I. This commander can shut it down. If you are also interested in the temperature of hard disk, this commander will help you. You know what? I found my Seagate hard disk is always 5 to 10 C degree cooler than my Western Digital hard disk. That's a fact I can see. I don't have enough examples to make any conclusion for this, but it is interesting. The last one, how to check the UUID of a partition, which you can use it to mount partition instead of the device name. It's a permanent unique number, which you could never mix them up, even the device name changed. Okay, that's my homework from my last video. It's just a simple reference. If you got questions, please leave your comments below. Thanks for watching. See you next time.